So this video is definitely going to be one very important video. So I want each and every one of you to watch it till the end. Why? Because we know guys, the price after testing this target line from this ascending broadening wage, head and shoulder started showing this relief rally, but we want to find out whether this relief rally, what we are witnessing right now is an actual relief rally or is it going to turn into a complete fake out and price after that is going to continue this downtrend yes you heard that right because the price after reaching this exact target from this ascending broadening wedge head and shoulder started showing this bounce and also is forming this one very interesting movement so called ascending triangle yes guys the price of bitcoin right now here in the media short term could be forming this ascending triangle but for this ascending triangle to play out we have to overcome this resistance which you have around 17,000. yes 17,000 must be flipped into support for the media short term because if we do that then i believe the price of bitcoin is going to continue this up to and towards 18,000 in the media short term but if we fail if we fail to break out of the 17,000 resistance and price is also Going to fail to hold this lower line support then please be careful it is actually going to turn into a fake out because we have seen whenever in an uptrend or in a downtrend doesn't matter whenever the price has showed this impulsiveness following the rising trend line support like this without the upper line once the support has been broken the price has always followed a trend duration here like this and in our case if this is going to happen after price faking or failing to hold the support around 16,400 16,500 please be careful because this lower target around 15,000 could be retested before price loses a trend duration why am i saying you that because if you look at the price structure here in a daily time frame it is actually flashing us a trap kind of formation a bull trap or so-called dead cat bounce scenario because if you look at this each and every time whenever the price of bitcoin was holding this key line of support everything looked normal we were consolidating but once the support got broken we had this free fall another consolidation once the support got broken we had another free fall in our case the price has also broken this key line of support which we had around 18 to 19 thousand range and since then we are clearly showing this free fall type of movement but what i want to add here is this dead cat bounce or so-called bull trap because if you monitor the price of bitcoin from where it started breaking this key line of support for example if you look at this from may 2022 from this top from this candle the price started showing this free fall type of scenario from this top to the bottom line where did the price of bitcoin right where did the price of bitcoin showed this rejection exactly at this 0.5 fibonacci line we fail to break out of this 0.5 fibonacci line and what happened after that we had this bigger price retracement now what i'm going to do here I am going to add another Fibonacci line from this top to the bottom line. You can see where did the price of Bitcoin got rejection? Exactly, guys, exactly at this 0.5 Fibonacci line. You can see we came exactly at this 0.5 Fibonacci line, got rejection, and after that, we had this corrective movement and also broke the key line of support, forming another dead cat bounce type of formation and now guys now if this is going to be another bull trap or dead cat bounce type of formation then i want you to be very very careful because if this is going to play out then from this top right from this top till the bottom line the price of bitcoin could be retesting this key line of support one more time which is sitting around 18,500 area yes guys this 18,500 is going to be a very very important line of resistance because this exact line acted as a support plenty of time in the past price action since we are below it the same line which previously acted as a support is going to be acting as a resistance and this is also the exactly where this 0.5 fibonacci line is lying around so if we do see price breaking out of the 17,000 resistance line here right out of the 17,000 resistance line here to the upside and continue this uptrend then we know for the coming days, we could be slowly approaching towards this 0.5 Fibonacci line before showing another movement here like this. Because each and every retracement 
out of this 0.5 Fibonacci line has always brought the price even lower. I mean, lower highs, lower lows, continuation pattern type of scenario. Beside this, guys, beside this, even if you look at this simple dead cat bounce formation, you can see, guys, the price of Bitcoin is still forming this dead cat bounce trading pattern. According to this previous example, we found out 0.5 Fibonacci line rejection could be looked as our target here to the upside, right? But after that, we are expecting this trend continue here to continue like this. But looking at this simple example, also in a daily time frame, we are clearly, guys, we are clearly forming this lower highs lower loss continuation pattern because each and every rally has failed to break the previous high and after that we always made a new low here rally but failed to break the previous high lower highs lower lows and now if we do see a relief rally price approaching towards this 0 0.5 18,500 range then we have to be extremely careful because even that is going to be looked as lower highs lower lows continuation pattern and this is the reason why i want you guys to be careful do not let this chart fool you even if you are going to see any sort of a relief rally wait until the price breaks out of this key line of resistance before placing any trade because this could turn out into a fake out each and every relief rally here has turned into a fake out you can see right relief rally fake out new low so we don't want to get trapped in another movement similar to the previous ones so please guys please do not over leverage yourself and use proper risk management strategy beside this beside this even if we look at the cpi indicator in a daily time frame you can see yesterday the price of bitcoin found support exactly after testing the support from this monthly s3 line which was around 15,800 area yes guys this line the s3 line is the final support line for this november month and this is exactly where we started showing the relief rally but what i want you guys to understand if this is going to be a trend continuation here like this price also breaking the resistance which we have around the 17,000, because this 17,000 is not just only the line the previous temporary race line here right previous temporary race line but also the line where we have this monthly S2 being placed, this monthly S2 line is lying around 17,000. And with the previous example, we found out the key line of resistance is also exactly at this 17,000. So that's why in the media short term, this 17,000 is a very important line we have to break if the price of Bitcoin wants to continue this uptrend. Because if we do break out of this 17,000, then you can see, guys, the price is going to form this ascending triangle which is considered as a bullish scenario so we are expecting this trend continuation to continue like this if we find proper support above 17,000, because we know the next target in that case is going to be around 18,500, and that's also the target from this monthly s1 line so please be careful and do not let this chart fool you because we know in a bigger time frame we have seen the price of bitcoin showing 85 84 percent corrective movement before starting a new marker phase like this from 2014 2015 we had a price retracement up to 85 percent and then we had this parabolic run similar scenario unfolded here from 2018 2019 we had a price retracement almost like around 84 85 percent and after that we started this parabolic run so in our case in our case the price of bitcoin so far has retraced only like 77 percent so if this is going to be another 84 85 percent retracement then you can see we will be approaching around this 10 to 12 thousand range before price finds a bottom and also start with this new marker phase because if you do see price showing a retracement around this area that means we are also forming this accumulation phase just like as shown here in the example right and after that could be starting this new marker phase like this so that's why guys for us in the media short term 17,000 is an important line of resistance and 16,500 16,400 is a very important line of support which we have to hold because if you break the support from this 15,000 sorry 16,500 then there is a very high probability that we are going to test this lower target on 15,000 one more time. So these are some of the quick updates that I wanted to share with you in today's video. 
If you enjoyed my vlog, if you enjoyed what you just saw, then please, please try that like button. For those individuals watching this for the first time, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Now, by saying this, I'm signing out. My name is Anoop. Bye-bye.